Let's dive into some best practices for naming variables in JavaScript, because choosing good variable names is very important for writing clean and also understandable code for others. And when declaring variables, there are some variable namings that are allowed and also considered to be best practices. And on the other hand, we have some variable names that are either not allowed to use or they are not recommended, meaning that they are not considered to be best practices. And the first example is that we can declare variables by using the let and then assigning name to this variable, let's say this can be user. But we can also declare the same variable by using the var keyword, but actually this is not considered to be a best practice. We used var before ES6, which is a major upgrade in JavaScript, and we used this keyword to declare variables. However, declaring variables with var keyword can result in a very strange behavior, and it also had some limitations that made it less than ideal. And in modern JavaScript, we usually declare variables with let keyword, and we try to avoid using the var keyword at all. The second example is that say we have a variable that contains two words, let's say it's called first name. You can just write first name together like this, but this is not very readable at the first glance and we might not understand that this is two words together. We can separate them for example by using underscore between two names and this will be better than using them together. But in JavaScript we don't use these underscore namings which is called snake case, we use the camel case naming for that. So a better way to define that will be to define it like first name by using the camel case notation, meaning the first letter of the second word should start with uppercase. And this makes it both easier to read for us and it's also a best practice compared to using snake case like this. Another rule is that you should choose meaningful names that clearly describe what the variable is about. For example, if you just declare a variable to be named a, this is not clear at all about what this a variable holds inside of it. And instead you should choose a descriptive name for that, let's say you are storing the result of some calculation inside of that a, it's better to name that as result at least, instead of calling that as a. Another rule that is set by JavaScript is you cannot start your variables with numbers. For example, if you want to declare the first name of second person, you cannot say to first name. As you can see, we are also getting an error by defining it like this. But if we come back to our third rule, why would you even want to define a variable that starts with a number that is not descriptive at all? It's better to name it at least as first name two and add that two at the end of the variable instead of the beginning of that variable. Another rule by JavaScript is that you should avoid using JavaScript's reserved keywords. For example, let is a reserved keyword in JavaScript and whenever JavaScript engine sees this let keyword, it knows that the following part after that is the name of a variable. And you cannot use that same let keyword to define the name of a variable. As you can see, we are getting an error, which is let is not allowed to be used as a name because it is a reserved keyword by JavaScript. Let's say you want to declare two variables at the same time, let's say the name of a person and also age of that person. Here in front of the name you can assign a value to that name variable and in front of the age you can assign a value to the age variable. But in modern JavaScript this is again not considered as a best practice and instead it's better to define them separately by using the semicolon and separating them from each other like this. You saw that we cannot use the keywords inside of JavaScript to define the names and there is another thing which is not allowed and that is to use special characters, let's say we want to define this first name but instead of the underscore we want to use this dash like this and this is again not allowed by JavaScript because you can only use the letters and digits when defining your JavaScript variables. Another bad practice in JavaScript is to define variables by starting with uppercase. This might be a good practice in other programming languages, but in JavaScript we usually define the variables by starting with lowercase like this. And lastly, except the let and var keywords in JavaScript, we also have const for declaring variables, where you can store constant values. If you truly want to define a variable that will never change, let's say a mathematical constant like this, you don't want this variable to be ever assigned to another value like 4. And by assigning it with const, you can see that we are getting an error in the next line, as we cannot redeclare the variables that are declared with const. So if you have a value that will never change throughout your program, you should use const keyword instead of let. And a good rule of thumb is to use const by default and only switch to let if you know you'll need to reassign the variable that you have.